up. Um, everything's uh, had a bit of time now to sterilise. Hopefully it's nice and sterile in here. Um, really you don't need the um, laminar flow hood. It just makes things nice and easy. Um, if you set up yourself a sterile glove box or something of those type, even a fish tank on its side is um, quite acceptable. I've just made this because it's um, pretty uh, easy for me to do work in. Give me a nice big space and um, yeah. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, so basically uh, what I'll do is uh, try and get this wrap off, seal film off um, and we'll remove the plant and chop it up. So we'll just get our utensils out just to let them cool. chopping stuff up. Um, once again, the media for root growth. Um, a little bit of water condensation in here as you can see, but we'll just uh, get rid of that before we start. Not 100% necessary, but I just like to get rid of it. If it doesn't worry you, then leave it in there. Alright, once again, I already mentioned that just give your hands a quick spray with the alcohol every now and then. Um, so what we'll do is remove the plant from in here, basically chop it up and whack it in the other uh, medium. So, move it. Alright, so here it is. Um, it's probably a half a dozen, maybe more plant that's in there so what I'll do is um, just carefully remove the plant trying to leave a little bit of the callus on the bottom if you can not 100% necessary but generally if they have a little bit of callus on the bottom of the plant still um, it makes it um, form roots or it grows roots a little bit easier just re-grab that off so I've lost it. Uh, and if you can't leave, like I said, if you can't get any callus left on it, there's no biggie. Um, it will grow roots, it's just a little bit slower. It's a little bit fiddly at the moment. Usually I just lay it down on the surface there and chop it up, but um, it makes it a little hard to see. So for the camera, basically I'll just uh, hold it up in the air here and attempt to chop it up. So one more, we'll just cut it through there. And as I can see, I left no callus on that one, but that's all right, he'll grow all right. It just might be a little slower. Um, and a few of these others have a small amount of callus, so we're good to go. All right, so we've chopped up our plant. I'll just uh, stick them back in there. And now we will uh, start to replace our plants into the media. Um, so just grabbing them out. I said a little bit of callus still on there so you can see we're all good simply place it in the media trying to uh, just leave the lid on as long as possible and close it as soon as we've got our plant in and hopefully we get no contamination in there um, I think that's actually two plants there so what we might do is uh, just uh, avoid putting him in at the moment and see if I can't separate him Alright, so we've got all those plants in there. We've got one little one left here. Might, uh, might put him in as well. He may he might grow. Now this one has two plants. Uh, this is just a quick way of cooling off it. So we don't burn the uh, plant with the temperature of it. Um, Alright, carefully might be able to separate these. Yep, there we go, sweet. And just poke him into the media a little bit and the last one in done all right um now we've got our plants in there um before i finish like i said i have iba in there but i also like to add a little bit of um other um plant growth regulator called iaa um 
basically uh, it doesn't really work well when it's added to the media before autoclaving um, so we add it after the autoclaving all right um, got the plants in there ready ready to go um, they should form roots um, by themselves in that media don't really have to replate them again sometimes I do it just depends how long it takes now what I have been doing lately like I said um, that media contains IBA um, also have IAA which is another um, chemical used to induce roots now um, this does break down with heat so when you autoclave um, the media and if it contains IAA it becomes less effective so I usually add this to the media after um, it's cooled and obviously at this stage I add it when the plants are in there so it's pretty straightforward you need to cold filter this media so you put media uh, put the IAA straight in there and bam you've got bacterial or a fungal um, problem straight up because obviously it's not a sterile um, liquid how we sterilize it is we use one of these it is a filter um, but in saying that I need to sterilize these first too so what I basically do is wrap them up in aluminium foil um, and chuck them in the pressure cooker when I sterilize my media um, and that sterilizes them so normally what I do is remove one of those out of there you know, nice and sterile and the same with the syringe doesn't have to be sterile I just spray this with the alcohol um, like us and just let it sit for a little while these filters um, pretty handy so all I'll do I won't actually do it because uh, suck up the required amount of oh yeah, uh, yeah and the alcohol wipes makes everything <laughs> come off all right and basically there we can just slowly squeeze in the media, uh, the uh, plant growth regulator into the container um, I won't do it because it's not a sterile one but um, that's pretty straightforward open the container up slightly poke it in just poke it in the end in because the actual syringe yes you've sprayed alcohol on them but it's not 100% sterile so I wouldn't take the chance so just poking the end in to the container once you've lifted it up like thus and squeeze in the required amount of uh, plant growth leg regulator um, and bam away you go but not necessary um, it will grow roots with just IBA in it um, there's, a, there's a few plant growth, growth regulators that you can use to form roots I think IBA's um, probably one of the better ones um, because it, it doesn't um, break down with temperature or when you autoclave it so it can be added to the media and um, once it's sterilized and in the pressure cooker you're good to go but IA is probably the best but like I said um, it's uh, not so effective once it's been heated so it has to really be added after after autoclaving to the media or when you put plants in right now either or um, and basically what we'll do the old magic tape once again and seal the container up a little bit tricky my fingers out of the way so there we go all nice and sealed up Voila, done.